There we go. The, the link of the link we shared with the other ones. Oh, no problem. Mm. All right, we are now recording. Welcome to the metrics models meeting here on May 9th. Is it May 10th there in China, Yahui? It's or not, it, eh? It's, it's May 9th. Okay, yeah, yeah so May 9th, 2024. Yeah. And Requa is um, going ahead and are you going to, okay, there we go. So this is for the metric model ISO standard discussion. Could you see my screen now? We can very yeah. clearly. Use the online version. Mm, and uh, in the last few days, uh, we mainly update the uh, open governance part. Um, in the in the past, uh, this part uh, include includes two um sub metrics, uh that that are mm, those are um community governance and uh, technical governance. Uh, but now this uh in this version, uh, we merge these two parts together because. Um, many many rules are similar, uh, such as uh rules and uh, responsibilities. Mm, it's not to say that uh the role and uh, the role of uh community governance and the technical governance are the same. Um, but in some in some ways, uh, technical rules can be a part of community rules. Mm, so. So we can just merge them into only one, and uh, and it uh, contains everything. Uh, and now, uh, this uh this this metric uh include five sub metrics. Um, the first one is uh, uh the the first one is uh version and mission, um uh, because uh mm, that determines the general goal of the community. Uh, and uh, the second is uh, roles and uh, responsibilities uh, that determines uh, who has the right to do uh, what things. Um, for example, um, common com contributors um, cannot merge PR, uh, PRs, uh, but uh, committers and uh, maintainers can. Um, um, besides uh, those Two roles. There are uh, there are also other roles such as um core team, uh, all kinds of uh, council and the board and so on. Mm, and uh, uh, this depends on a specific uh, community. And the third one is uh, guidelines. And this one uh, guide um uh, what individual can uh what individuals can do, um, and uh, how they should take action in the community. We further we further consider um this sub, uh, this metric uh, from um, from two parts and uh, uh, for community uh, guidelines individual can um, easily know what they can do and uh, what behaviors uh, they are allowed. And uh, um so when you say, can I ask a question? Yeah. Um, when you say uh, what behaviors are allowed, are these the, uh, the code? I see you've got code of conduct, user guides, read, read me. So is the, when you say allowed, are you mostly referring to the code of conduct? Um, yeah, and uh, uh, this also guidelines what, what they can take action, uh, such as contribut contribution guidelines uh, that guide uh, how they can make contribution in the um, community. Okay. Th all right. Thanks. Thanks for clarifying that. Um, and for, uh, for the, uh, for the, uh, development guidelines and um, it uh, individuals can uh, easily know how to de develop the uh, software by uh, following uh, 
all those uh, all those metrics such as uh, coding standards and uh, requirements management and uh, uh, so on and uh, mm, uh, the uh, next one uh, I, I want to uh, talk about the decision making mechanism uh, that can mm, this is uh, very important um, because um, generally we want people to um, do things by consensus, um, but conflicts are in, uh, inevitable. Uh, so there has to be someone um, to make decisions in one way or um, another. And uh, uh, the, last, uh, the last metric is uh, DEI. Um, refers to diversity, uh, equity, and uh, inclusion. Um, the uh, the other uh, metrics are all rules of the community, but um, DEI is, uh, are the goal and the results of the governance, and uh, that is what we want to uh, that is what we want to see in the community. Uh, and uh, those are uh, many parts uh, that I have done before. And maybe I can continue with uh, uh, Chao's uh, introduction. Maybe I can share the screen, Chao. May I? Okay, of course. Yeah, thank you. So we make make some update, uh, like Rachel mentioned, uh, on the uh, open open governance this part, and uh, uh, if you notice, like uh, many rules uh, are uh, listed here, including the guidelines or, or different kind of rules, and also uh, including the uh, rules and the responsibility, all things to describe the open governance, and. So, um, you know we are yeah. can, our guidelines and rules and roles and responsibilities core elements to an ISO standard as we understand it. Uh, and yeah, I'm not questioning them. I, I, I'm I'm looking. They look um, they look like they might be standard specific language. That's why I asked. Uh, actually, I don't know if it's a okay. uh, <laughs> standard specific language, but uh, okay, we think um. Uh, if we talking if we are talking about open governance, uh, we should list uh, the things uh, which re relate to the uh, governance here. Yeah, uh, for sure. Uh, to describe how open it is. Okay, thanks. And uh, for the collaboration part, uh, we didn't do so much uh, change uh, updated so far, but uh, as you can see, we have cohesion and uh, like intention and attract attraction about resp responsibilities um, for users and contributors, group work, bus factor, and the collaboration development. And also for the up, up and downstream interaction. Here mm -hmm. we only mentioned upstream first, but maybe uh, for the downstream, we should list something to t disrupt here, but uh, we haven't found a good term uh, to, to, to list here. But the many change here, it's about the infrastructure. Um, I can I, I can explain this a little bit. Um, about about open governance, we list the different rules uh, about open uh, collaboration. We list the, some actions taking happened in the community, and the infrastructure which is taking all the uh, uh, services provided by the communities. It's including uh, some general services. We all know that it's like web, uh, uh, official uh, website service. But um, uh, from recent uh, research, we think we can divide it into the three uh, dimensions. Uh, for these two things, uh, they are quite common, quite general. Uh, first, for the general infrastructure uh, services, uh, maybe everyone could know that it's um, about uh, like a tracker 
uh, CRA service and uh, social media service, code hosting service, version control, communication platform, official website service, and 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 uh, about dashboard uh, for for community health, like uh, provided by mm -hmm. by uh, you know uh, chaos. Mm -hmm. This for the general infrastructure services. And for the CSD, uh, it is the, here quite simple. Uh, it should be here. Build, test, and deliver. And uh, and we add another things about supply chain security governance service because uh, this one has been played quite important role uh, in the last several years. And uh, we could say that it could, could play even more important role uh, in the next few years in the whole world, open source world. So we added here because all the government things about supply chain security would be taken by the infrastructure. Uh, I mean, the service provided by infrastructure. Uh, currently, we are thinking and it, uh, it couldn't include all the things uh, this governance could uh, uh, have so far, but we only list the, the for uh, first five, one we think about could be included first. First, it's about SBOM. And uh, the next one is, um, we call it Trust the Build. Actually, it's from uh, uh, CELSA, uh, coming from the mm -hmm. uh, Open SSI industry standard. And uh, also, it's um, about uh, security, sorry. Security governance, and um, we could use scorecard to play it. And uh, the next is about the license compliance. The next one is about uh, you know the uh, like a dependency lifecycle management, something like that. So the many change happened in the infrastructure. Uh, it's here, and then uh, we divided it into three dimensions. And uh, except for those uh, about Wagger, uh, uh, usually we, we use the activity to uh, to s describe the whole things, but uh, we think we could change to another word here, Wagger. And uh, the same, it's uh, all the activity, uh, those three or uh, four, dimensions to describe the current status of the community yeah basically that's the all we can share so far so Yahoo, i missed a few meetings can you put this in a context for me yeah because I, I don't i actually don't quite see the relationship to the iso standard i'm sure it exists um and i i this seems to do these map to metric models that we've deployed principally Mm -hmm. Is that what uh, you're diagramming here? First, that we think to to create a sort of standard for for the for for the OSS health evaluation. So we this is so the the proposed ISO standard conceptualized here is a single ISO standard for open source software health evaluation. Yes. Yes. Okay. And. Uh, and currently, the progress we made. First, we have this uh, structure, and uh, the next thing is, um, uh, you know, Professor Zhou, uh, uh, Minghui Zhou, and also uh, Richiao working uh, working together, still are working together to do a lot of the gra uh, gross literature review okay. for the, all the items we list here. They're still awesome. working on that, and uh, I think. Uh, maybe next week or uh, you know uh, at the beginning of next month, uh, they will share the final final uh, result uh, in, the, okay. in the meeting. Yeah, and uh, we also discussed uh, in the last few me uh, uh, meetings about we uh, list the three dimensions: community, software, and uh, value. But in our first version. Maybe we only focus on the community part because that's the thing, that's the dimension 
we put a lot of effort in the past few years. I agree uh, with that. The, my yeah, and I have I don't know if we've been advised about how to develop an ISO standard very clearly from the LF. The I guess the organizational smell I'm I'm my or I'm getting here a whiff of is this could be a very giant singular ISO standard, and giant anything's take longer to deliver well. And I, I so I don't know if when we get into actually building an ISO standard following that format, if this might get broken down into multiple adjacent standards, or if mm -hmm. you're, I, I'm not an expert on on uh, OSI standards, so no. <laughs> um, this just yeah. I, you know my first thought is this seems kind of giant for a single standard. Yeah, I think yeah I agree with you. So, so that's why we we think. Uh, we maybe in the f first year we create this ISO standard. Maybe we can just pop up the first dimension we focused on. Uh, yeah. For this point, well, I don't know what. Yeah, and I don't know what the granularity fit is because I haven't. Yeah, you know, I haven't gotten any direct counsel from LF on. Yeah, what, I remember what scoping last, might look like. Yeah, I remember in the last few uh, meetings, uh, we are discussing how to. You know, create a whole ISO standard, and uh, we are thinking. Um, first, we create the whole structure to give us a general view about the structure, how it looks like, yeah. and uh, and for and and for each of single, uh, we we make it hierarchical uh, view, uh, to make it more easier to be understandable. Uh, yeah. Each of single uh, item. Uh, just from its context, could it easily understand what, what we're gonna uh, introduce or on this gonna say here? Okay. And uh, the second thing is that um, because uh, in the past few years, when we create the metrics and metrics model, we have uh, a lot of experiences uh, now create uh, the single item uh, of the metrics and metrics model. Maybe we can use this chance to, you know, uh, use uh, the exist metrics metrics model to to, yeah. to be as a part of this, and also we can do make some refactor on the exist metrics model, and also uh, for each of single items, um, I think we have um, some experiences about to list the. Uh, uh, some uh, uh, research achievement made mm -hmm. uh, in the past few years. So that's why Rachel and uh, Professor Joe are working on the literature review to give us uh, uh, enough support for each of single metrics model here. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. That's 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 all I I, I, I can share today. Yeah. Are any comments on that from folks that maybe have been here for the last couple of meetings before this, which I have not been, various conflicts. So just just to comment here that um is what, what you said sound probably it's it's good. So I think this is great to have uh you know, long-term view or where, where we want to go. But to start with, at the very beginning, probably we need to agree on a smaller subset. So then we can produce something mm, more approachable, we can say, from that perspective, so that we can work all together and move mm -hmm. forward. And the other um, and, and, and the other discussion I was having in my mind while Yehui was uh, were, were presenting this is, um, probably we need to bring more people to the discussion. So ideally, international standards is we need uh, several people from different areas, uh, industries, academia, whatever, and maybe verticals, just to say, yes, this is what we are looking for. So I expect that whatever subset we choose, we need to grow through, we need, we need to, uh, we need to go through a 
an iterative process, uh, maybe in next open source summits or whatever, just to start uh, confirming and validating, let's say, the, the general framework. If that mm -hmm. makes sense. So just making here, uh, uh, making up a case. So let's assume we go for um, community, open collaboration, group work, fast factor collaboration, development, responsiveness, cohesion, and then we go for bigger individual activities, organizations, and then um, two of the matrix models we have defined. Let's imagine this is the framework we have decided to go with. Mm -hmm. In this call, we are four people. Yeah, I mean, so is, do you think this is ready? Do you think this is ready to socialize within a chaos community meeting, or Probably do you want yes. to take? So the, my my point is, whatever we we decide is a good delivery for this on our side, plus uh, uh, Professor Cho and others. Probably we need to keep validating with the industry, um, having some iterations and making an open call. You know, it's 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 it's, it's about building. Uh, the basement of the framework so that we are not producing something something fragile that makes sense yeah yeah that does make sense and I, so i guess i mean my concrete question then would be when would be a good time to socialize this with the rest of the community so i guess we need to first decide and agree on what are the key points we want to go with so for instance sean you said is this, uh, you know, the, uh, the metrics models, for instance, support and service mm -hmm. or community collaboration or organi organizational collaboration? Those are some of the ones that are defined. Mm -hmm. uh, here, there is way more information than those. So what is the subset of this that we are going to use so, and say this is the very first 0 0.1 standard version we want to deliver? We need to agree on this, basically, at least yeah. for people in this call. So uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. so I think uh, first uh, I think more or less we have a complete uh, at least because we have three dimensions, but uh, at least we have finished the, the the community dimensions. This part, the structure creation, no matter it's how good or bad, uh, but uh, it's how far it it, it is, and. Uh, and as I mentioned, Professor Joe and Rachel are working on the literature review to uh, to give us the support on the on the you know uh, the achievement made in the past to support uh, those things. So after they, I I, I would say um, maybe after they have finished uh, this literature review and give us uh, the enough uh, output or feedback about all the item. Uh, we made here then we could uh, you know as a first uh, uh, you know decision made in the community size to let everybody uh, know okay this is the very first version we made any comments uh, it's the right to go uh, to the next step or no uh, so i totally agree with you Yehui. um and then what i would say is can we use, for instance, the Open Source Summit in Vienna, in Austria, as one of those places to validate this? Basically, I know that we don't have the time now to prepare anything, I mean, to send a talk or a, a, a workshop or a proposal, but maybe we can ask for a room and have an open call and say, this is this is the goal of chaos for, you know, this for part of 2024. We want to have a standard uh, in place. This is the very first step. We need validation by the industry. We need names to be added here. So we need your feedback, basically. And have a mm -hmm. day, not on chaos, kind of, but on this. I know, Sean, what do you think? And, and Yehui? Does it make sense? It does. OK. Yeah. I, I think it's a, maybe it's a good opportunity to, you know, like you mentioned, we, uh, we can have a room in in the uh, open source summit in europe and then have discussion with other industrial pe people to see how, how how they feedback about uh, our current progress made yeah but we can use this so we, we can use um uh, vienna we can use 
uh, open source summit in China, we can use open source uh, summit in uh, Japan. And at least we have these three in a row, more or less. Mm -hmm. Then we can try to validate and have feedback here, here, and there. Um, yeah, basically, yeah. My, I'm worried about not having enough validation, basically. I think uh, I think this would be an excellent topic for birds of a feather. Um, at a at a conference, I think, mm -hmm. but I think we could socialize it somehow in the wider chaos community mm -hmm. before that, so that progress can continue. Because I think, if I recall from our conversation six months ago, Yahui, mm -hmm. the standards are important. Like we don't want to wait until OSS Japan or even OSS EU to to do this, right? Yep. So, uh, as I understand, Sean, uh, you you think maybe first we can share with uh, uh, with community people uh, like or chaotic chaotic sorry yeah 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 and yeah. Uh, have um have a like a big side discussion with everyone yeah and i know i know matt's been in touch with the lf have have you discussed any additional clarity or have they given us any additional guidance on getting a I... like what a standard is in terms of the scope of how they like to do it like, is this too big or is this kind of how they like to have it? Like, do we have any idea yet or do we need to try to push them on that? I, I have a, a very short dis, uh, uh, discussion with Ch with Mike last week about uh -huh. uh, any feedback from, from you know, Open Source Summit in North America. Mm -hmm. uh, he mentioned he had got a chance to talk with the uh, Linux Foundation people. Yeah. Uh, they still... Uh, said yes uh, to support us to do the, the this as a standard things and uh, would uh, use uh gdf joint development foundation to give us support on that. right i don't right. I, I don't know what's the right time slot to 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 get this support from uh gdf but uh, yeah. i think it, it's time for us to you know thinking about what's the right as a standard you know specific uh uh, like a template we should follow uh, to make it more like a, a standard or ISO standard. But uh, I, I remember Matt mentioned the, the matrix model and the matrix we made, uh, I mean, the format we use is quite followed the ISO standard format. So it's quite easy for us to, to write those things. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, can I can I share my screen? Uh, I think well, so. Yeah, course. I believe it's I my fairly screen. open it does, in uh, chaos land. Unlike yes, my university, does. which restricts me, you know, I have to have like uh, somebody's birth certificate and a blood sample to allow them to share a screen. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm just I'm just taking a, um, a standard, which is uh, really well developed and everything, but just an example. So. I'm looking for a professionalization of what we are doing. Formalization, not professionalization. Formalization of what we are doing. So basically, mm -hmm. this is standard 26262, okay, safety critical systems, automotive industry, okay, perfect. There is this link that says technical committee, okay? So we click here in the technical committee. Um, and then basically what we can see is that there is there are some people that were doing certain things, committee manager, chairperson, uh, some manager, editorial manager. I don't know who is who, where they are coming from, if they are coming from the ISO standard or somewhere else. It yeah. happened that there are these people here, <laughs> and, and then we can think on uh, different areas that if we scroll down, we can see uh, different working groups working in different areas. Of course, this is, this is a card, so it, it's super complex. Um, and so all of this is here with all the working groups. So probably we may need to start formalizing a working group for community, a working group for infrastructure, working group for software, et cetera, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. They have a different discussions, different references. Then they have meetings. It seems that they only met in uh, 2024 or, the, or they are meeting in the future, I don't know. And then um, they have like uh, in this whole structure, they have like this, uh, observing members or so, so then, um, or participating members. I, I, I don't know if I'm reading this in the right way, but just to let you know what, what, 
we should expect probably from these like different countries from different areas so of course we are way much smaller but probably we need to formalize our work in this way like these are the meetings these are the working groups these are the decisions these are the i don't know industries people may, perhaps we need names in the code so it, it's it's a whole process i assume i have no idea mm -hmm. how this works in the case of the linux foundation but i expect to to see things like like this so just just to share some some thoughts that i i have when when dealing with this mm -hmm. that makes sense yeah i i uh, you took me thinking uh, daniel because uh the intention to create iso standard not just to create the so-called standard we want to use this chance to involve more people for, from all over the world to working together uh, on, on on the uh, uh, community health evaluation work to to uh, recognize its value. So I, I I if we got a chance, you know, maybe first we have uh, made uh, this community uh, dimension ready. Uh, I mean, from the structure point uh, point of view, uh, maybe we can divide it into three small you know, working group. Like uh, someone are working on the uh, open governance, someone are working on the open collaboration, and someone working on the infrastructure mm -hmm. things. Uh, now, anyone who have interest on, on the three dimension of this could could join together, and maybe yeah. together. Uh, that that maybe. Sure. I'll be right back. Yep. Sorry, I was. Uh, it was my son that entered, but because we are recording, I just switched. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Um, so, it, yeah, I think it's it's about you know divide and conquer. So we have the problem. We can we can start creating the different uh, working groups and, and move forward, mm -hmm. and then we may have like a validation process for. Yeah, maybe uh, Daniel. Maybe we can you know uh, as I just mentioned. Uh, uh, after we trigger a, a committee size of, of view or discussion, mm -hmm. and we can propose propose the or uh, we working about mm -hmm. uh, about we uh, the next step, so we can have a you know yeah. four 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 working mm -hmm. group to work, working together on that. Mm -hmm. We can uh, probably we need feedback from Matt and maybe Sean on um, how is how we are supposed to proceed because basically by reading the you know that that website i served i'm just making up things on how i think we should proceed but i have no idea so maybe either matt or someone can give us the contact or provide some feedback on next steps and perhaps mm -hmm. that would be would be super useful because that's going to help us like okay do we really need to start working in working groups i guess we have I, don't know. I I mean I I missed a little bit because I had to run off for a second. Are yeah, you looking so we for? Were... Go ahead. So um so we were we were discussing uh that what is what is a good next step, um and then uh so basically uh, Yehui mentioned Yehui correct me if I'm wrong, uh, that perhaps splitting in working groups and then starting to work on something and then share this with this with the community. So basically, if we can work on creating a process like a proposal of a process that we can share. And then uh, I was just sharing that perhaps we would be super useful if we can get uh, some initial feedback on what is a good first step to start creating a, a, an international standard. And then that feedback probably is coming from Matt or you that you have the contact with the, with the guys or have direct connection with them. So then we can learn what is what we need to do as first step. Yep. Do you think you can give us that link, Sean, or maybe Matt? I don't have it, Matt. The I I think um, you know, we look. I looked at it with this group late last year, and um, at the time, it seemed like kind of a you know, like a process recipe that they were giving us. But I do think it would be helpful to get a little bit of their guidance and maybe try to get them in get somebody that represents this joint development foundation into one of these meetings so they can look at what we've done and 
give us some direction or feedback on a logical place to start mm -hmm. you know, you know mm -hmm. if i if i know somebody who's done something before it's sort of my preference to try to get them involved in you know now that we've kind of thought out what we want I, i'd like to say hey okay give us give us some give us a, some steps or a plan um mm -hmm. and i don't know if we want to in the notes uh, ask Matt to invite someone from JDF to the next one of these meetings. Because mm -hmm. Matt's been our conduit to JDF, and I don't want to, you know, inject myself into that uh, unless that makes sense and Matt is cool with it, you know, because otherwise it's like the Chaos Project's communicating from eight different channels and they'll get confused. Yeah, to make sense. <laughs> Yeah, I see. I see at the J, uh, uh, JDF that they have a uh, email address we can we can write, but Matt is already talking to them. So yeah, it's. I mean, what do you all yeah. think? Like, th there's also the yippee ki yay approach, which would be to just have mm -hmm. one of you email them and invite them to our next meeting to kind of look at where we're at, or we could actually item it for Matt to see if he can do the same. I don't have I don't have any perfect answers. Maybe I can I can chat with Matt to say uh, if he can help to contact with the GDF to invite someone else from from that foundation to 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 have a meeting with us and uh, to give us uh, some basic introduction how to proceed proceed the next type about mm -hmm. creating the standard yeah that sounds that sounds like a pretty reasonable next step to me yahoo mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay i i can chat with matt Yeah. All right. That's a good, that's a good next step. So mm -hmm. I'll go back to, um, sharing the notes here. If I can find them again. So many screens. So little time. All right. Okay, so um, all right, so that's that update. Um, so just put AI who we talk with Matt about inviting somebody from JDF to talk with us regarding next steps reasonable enough um we're almost we're four minutes short of time but um there are anything else that we you all think we should discuss while we're here by the way i i just uh, i just had a proposal about uh, uh the topic about uh, oss eu mm -hmm. I, I don't know if you have a uh submit a proposal all right just a panel okay. yeah okay i just want to use this chance to to you know visit europe again to have a chance to talk with all you guys and uh, and like just daniel mentioned maybe we can take the chance to 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 discuss as a standard with other people from industry area yeah i think if we can if we can set up a, a call an open call for people to join like chaos for half a day kind of but pretty focused on this mm -hmm. would be, because i think the idea is not to have a chaos con uh but we can we can say we want to have a, a room 
more space for half a day where people can come and then we we open the call and see if there are people interested and I mean, yeah we... maybe maybe before the uh, summit or after summit we just use a half day to to have this discussion yep <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly that and then it's about personally inviting people that we think they can provide the feedback or so open a call if everyone else is willing to join us um yeah and, and, and see what is the uh, how many people we can attract um, is there a is there still like a registration period that we can get like a room or an event? Uh, I don't know how this is done, for instance, in North America, because this was all done by you and, and the last couple of chaos cons I have not that much involved. So I don't know how how this works with the Linux Foundation now. Uh, as I mentioned, as I know. Uh, they are not allowed us to to you know create another uh, submit uh, without uh, permission of the Linux Foundation uh, if under uh, the same time slot and using the same uh, place uh, in, yeah, the, in the had, summit. We had ChaosCon the day before of the official summit so that's why what i'm thinking so you have open as you have open chain you have yeah then we yeah sure well, i'm looking for that basically but i don't know how this this is done in the past I yeah i know yeah. i'm trying to remember how we do it in um oss summit north america i think the submission for the pre-conference stuff was actually those deadlines i feel like they were later than the talk submission deadlines so perhaps the people we might reach out to for pre-conference events would be the same uh, as the people we reach out to um, i can send a quick email and just ask because i think what are we asking for like a half day or a Something like that with yeah. a room, Daniel. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. We we can even send a message in the Slack channel for, for the ChaosCon committee. Hey, we have this idea. I mean, I have the email address of the person I coordinated with for OSSNA, so I could just shoot him a quick message and okay, perfect. So, ask. So that's basically that's basically it. Half a day where we want to advance into the yeah, standard discussion. That's all. So then this this would be kind of forcing us to have something ready to go by that day that is meaningful and useful for the people we are inviting. And it's forcing us to have something that we can then have as an output after the, the summit as well. Even if this yeah. is pretty small, but that's something. Yeah, I agree. All right. I'm crafting this email now. Thank you, Sean. I'll copy you both on it. And are there any other, I guess, while I'm doing that, uh, time's expired. Are there any other metrics that we want to include? What do you mean by other metrics? No. Right. Uh, I mean, I guess any other discussion because we're at the end of time. <laughs> okay, I think okay. that's what I'm trying to say. Sorry. You'll get a copy of this email momentarily. Okay. Thank you. No, right. I can uh, okay. Uh, Sean, if we have one minute after you stop the recording. Okay. I mean, uh, yeah, you can stay as well. So it's... Yeah, sure. All right.